Hi, Steve here. Today I want to show you a software that we brought out in 2011, but just re recently we've made some improvements to it. So I'd just like to do a new video and show you for some of you who haven't seen it. It's called Rate the Races. And I've just noticed I've got to change the heading there. Rate the Races now does UK, Irish, USA, French, South Africa. So it's really increased in Canada also. So it's in increased now the areas that it covers and it has two main features first of all we have the main area which is what we're in now and then we have the scan area which is an area that we can uh, isolate uh, the top horse or the top two horses or the top three horses in the ratings for every race so I'll just take you through both of the methods this here is the main screen so we can click on get the races and here it shows us all the races individually for the day. So if we look there, we can scroll down, we can see there, Punches Town, then we go into France, into the US, and uh, Irish racing there. So what you do is you pick up a race there, so we're looking at this one here at Nottingham, and we click on Get the Card, and here we have now, the card and the important thing is here is the score this is our rating score here that Mike was designed and it rates every horse in every race so you can go race by race to have a look at what horse that you want to see what the rating is um, generally we're just looking at the top two horses in most of the ratings this is where the winners and that come from so you've got the individual races that you can look for and also what you can do is you can export that race into Excel and uh, keep it in Excel and do other stuff that you may want to do with it. So that is how the individual races work. The other option now, which we added a few years ago, if we go to scan, this brings us to the top rated top two rated and top three rated. Now what we can do is uh, we can mark it with 150 or 50 or 100, but 150 is one that works well for me. And if we put the top rated, what it will do is I'll push scan and it will show us now only the top rated horse for every, every race today. Now the ones in blue are where the horse, the top rated horse, is 150 points more than the second rated horse. So that uh, gives you an idea that it's a strong, it's got strong probabilities of winning. And we can see down there as you go into the US, there's um, some 150 plus horses there as well. Now, what else we have here is we can do the top two rated. And if I click the top two rated and scan, it's now going to highlight the races here. But you can see in the Bath race in, in the uh, 210, two, two are highlighted. That just means that that race has a horse, the top horse is 150 points more than the second horse. Okay, so now we're looking at the top two horses. And uh, you can see below on the page that there's a selection method where we do use the top two horses in, in one of our methods that you can use. And of course if we go to three, scan, you'll notice there that now there's the top three of every race is there. Also if I just toggle between the top rated and the third top rated, you'll see now there's little arrows here. So we can sort by time, for example. At the moment, it's um, sorted by course. But if we click on that, we can sort on time. So we can see there now that's got the US races. But then we can come to the races now come in order. So we've got Bath, then we go to France, then we go to Weatherby, Nottingham. 
So that's going down in time order. Punches Town, then South African Racing comes up in there as well. So you can see there, you can sort by whichever column you want to. So we just go back to Course, and now we're back to Bath and Belmont. So it's alphabetical. If you want to go back to where we were when we started, we just do another scan, and it will default back to the English courses first. Okay, so that is Rate the Races. Now I'll just show you that top 50 um, to just give you an idea how it works. I just Last night um, I was just uh, playing with it. And here we can see, this is from yesterday the 15th. As I do this video, there was um, eight races, six in the UK, two in Ireland, that had horses that were a gap of 150 between the top and the second rated and you can see there we did quite well with the wins we had four wins in the UK and two unplaced and in Ireland we had two placed runners and you can see there we got made 100, 208% on the win and 29% on the place after Betfair commissions so that was just one night with uh, one day running the um, the 150 gap so thanks for having a watch of this video um, there are a couple of other improvements we're doing with this software and we'll bring updates as we come but today is a great day to start and um, join us with rate the races especially now that we've got um, those other countries added into it thank you